Hello you guys, what is up? For today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I eat in a full day. So it is currently 8.57 in the morning and now it's time for my morning smoothie or smoothie bowl that I make. I honestly like eating smoothie bowls way better than at drinking a smoothie. I don't know why, I just like the concept of having something with a spoon and granola. So just first of all, more filling when you put the granola in there. And second of all, I just, I'm just not a big fan of drinking a smoothie. I don't know why. So I'll show you what I do to make my morning smoothie. I try and switch up the fruits every day, but this is basically all the fruit that I get in my day unless I have a little bit of fruit here and there, but usually this is how I try and get my fruit in for the day. Today I'm gonna to be making a strawberry and banana one. Sometimes I'll make like blueberry or mango. Mango's really good too. It's just whatever we have in the fridge at the moment. But I'll always put bananas in there because I feel like banana gives it that, you know, that smoothie bowl texture, like the thickness. And then lastly, I put in protein powder. This is a vegan one. I like vegan protein better than regular protein just because it's healthier and I try and limit my dairy intake. And I don't put a, like a whole scoop in there. I just put like half a scoop. This is a chocolate one. I honestly like using vanilla a lot more, but we ran out of the vanilla one so that's literally it and then all I do is add oat milk to it and I just put a bit of that I honestly don't have measurements at all I just kind of freehand it and if it needs more milk then I'll add that while it's blending if I don't have a smoothie in the morning I'll literally end up not eating any fruit that day so it's like really important that oh I get this in my morning routine That's it. I just add granola and then call it a day. And also I try and drink two cups of water in the morning just right away. I got my cup here because I feel like getting those two cups in first thing in the morning is so important in case I forget to drink a lot of water during the day. Just having those two cups in the morning definitely helps. So. Right now it is breakfast lunch time-ish. Like what I eat in the morning morning, it only fills me up for like a few hours. So right now I'm gonna have more substance, something for breakfast and lunch, like brunch. We're gonna have brunch. I think I'm gonna have some eggs. I'm not sure. I'm probably gonna make like an egg spinach scramble. So let's do that. And I haven't even had a coffee yet. Oh my God. If we have avocado, put some avocado on it um, and maybe even have a little yogurt with it or maybe bread. This is like dairy-free yogurt, so it's, it's good to go. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I usually just look in my fridge and I'm like, oh, what should I eat today? What looks good? And just all depends really on what I have in my fridge, to be completely honest. That differentiates what I eat every day is literally what's in my fridge, so. Spinach. Tomatoes. Um, scramble a little bit of meat in there. See, what I want to do is put cheese in it, but is cheese the healthiest thing? No. So we're going to resist the cheese, but sometimes I have to give in to the cheese and I put cheese in it. But today we're going to resist the cheese because usually I, I'm really good at staying away from dairy, okay? Usually I am, but sometimes I'm not. Um, oat milk, and let's see if we have an avocado. Oh, there's lots of avocados actually. Got a perfect avocado. It's almost like a draw. Like you never know if it's gonna be a good or a bad one. Oh, that's so satisfying. lunch as you saw i had that egg scramble with some avocado and toast and that filled me up perfectly with the coffee i usually like rotate when i have coffee like one day i'll have hot coffee and then the next day i'll have iced coffee it's literally just whatever i feel like and today i felt like more of a hot coffee because it's raining outside so it's like you know more cozy but yeah i like both so i just literally make what i feel like and then i use a dairy-free creamer that has like sweetener in it already so I'll just put a little bit of that in and then it's perfect i made some cookies last night um very unhealthy cookies let me just say that um because i was craving something very sweet so these are like chocolate cookies 
Reese's with Reese's in them. So I'm just gonna have a half right now because it's kind of like my little dessert from lunch. You know what I'm saying? You know, when it comes to food, you only live once. You have to enjoy yourself while you're here. If I restricted myself from eating these cookies, it would restrict my mood and my happiness for the day. So if it makes you happy, then eat it. Me trying to justify eating <laughs> eating eight cookies a day. If you think it's an over-exaggeration, it's not. Like I actually ate eight cookies the other day. Like eight cookies, not even joking. But I also have a fast metabolism, I just want to say that. So what I eat, it doesn't reflect in my fat. I can pig out and I still stay between the same weight. I don't really gain weight that easily, so I'm lucky. If you guys click on this video to see healthy recipes, this is not it. I kind of eat whatever. I try and stay healthy as much as I can. So it is a few, like probably like an hour or two after I ate lunch. Now I've digested a bit and I'm just looking for like a little something to give me a little kick so I don't really get vegetables in my day and I'm not one to go pick up a vegetable and eat it unless it's covered in ranch it's just a lot of work to cut them up and bleh. so I like to get my vegetables in this way this is from Teamy blend it's their green superfood blend if you guys want to try out this green juice powder I will put a link down below and I also have a coupon code so go and check that out I just feel healthier when I eat something green like do you know what I mean health is wealth my friend whenever I have something green I just feel like lean and to me green equals vegetables and vegetables equals health therefore you mix the two together and you get wealth Oh my god, you guys, I need to tell you a story. Every time I shake something, it reminds me. Okay, I wasn't barely alive during this time period. I was probably like a baby, but I've heard it through like my family, obviously. So once my mom, she was shaking a ketchup bottle and she's going like this to get the ketchup out. I don't know who does that, but like who goes like this? So she's holding the ketchup bottle and she was going like this. It sprayed open, sprayed the whole roof our white roof sprayed the roof with ketchup it wasn't a good sight since then my mom never shook a bottle of ketchup in her life again less another day don't stain your roof and this also has caffeine in it so it's going to give me a little bit of an extra boost for the middle of the day i like to stick to having one coffee a day just because i know that if i venture out and have more than one i can get addicted and i do not want to get addicted to coffee or caffeine i should say this has like a limited amount of caffeine so it's not as much as coffee i don't want to need coffee to live you know what i'm saying i don't want to be that person I don't want to be that girl that's like, I need my coffee or else I'm gonna... So I limit myself. One coffee a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah, and that one cup of coffee, I enjoy it. It's literally one thing that I look forward to eating, I mean, drinking every day. It's just like, it's just so good. So yeah, I'll catch you guys back when I eat something else. All right, you guys, my dad's on the phone. So if you hear like noise in the background, it's him. But it is currently 4.30. My stomach is like a little bit hungry. So Madison over here is making some, no, not for you. No, I'm gonna make my own. Yeah, well, you're getting all up in my grill, and I literally bought these crackers for me for school, so. This is just a little pre-dinner appetizer. We're gonna have a little one of these crackers. These are just... Oh, Michaela, like, you did it on purpose, No, I didn't. I'm freaking kidding. Why would I do that on purpose? Eat one. it. Five second roll. Five, four. One of them fell. Anyways, so I'm gonna have one of these crackers oh, with borsin. I usually don't eat dairy, but... I'm just gonna put this much and have it on a little rice cracker. If you guys have never tried this cheese, what are you doing? You have to try it. It literally tastes like butter and cheese mixed together. Mm, so creamy, so smooth, so garlicky. So good. Not sponsored. Okay, so it's the same time as you saw in the last clip, but I just wanted to say that I try and keep hydrated the best I can throughout the day because coffee dehydrates you if you guys didn't know that coffee is very dehydrating so i try and hydrate myself during the day i'm not saying i drink eight cups of water every day but i try my best to this is her she she gets really hungry maybe she should do what i eat in a day hmm? oh my god you're so cute i love you too you know what, what michaela also does do she eats the cheese after me and the crackers but doesn't put it away she doesn't put it away very bad habit and whenever she puts crackers or bread away she sucks at closing it so it always gets stale always and it's always her fault all right so it is currently dinner time and we are heating up some toscana soup look at that it just rang so basically this is my leftover dinner from yesterday but leftovers are good oh god that's really hot we need oven mitts come on so basically what this soup is potatoes bacon sausage and lots of kale so it's pretty healthy if you ask me oh 
So, final touches in the soup. We're gonna put some Parmesan cheese. Voila. And that's my dinner for today. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I went back and eat some more food after this. Probably some chips, probably something more unhealthy. My dinner's different every day, depending what we have for leftovers. And then with dinner, I'm having juice box. Okay, so I just ate the soup and basically I'm still hungry and I realized that we have leftover bruschetta. Oh, sh <laughs> It's basically bread with garlic, tomatoes, Parmesan cheese on top, and my recipe, your slice recipe of baguette, diced tomato, garlic, basil, salt, black pepper, drizzle parmesan on top, and back in the oven for five minutes and then broil it. Comment down below if I should start a uh, cooking channel. Also, if you like my glasses, I'll have the link to them down below. Okay, so I just finished dinner and you already know what I'm gonna have for dessert. No shame. These are literally the most deadly cookies. Mm. I'm literally trying to vlog with my feet right now, but it's actually gonna work. Yeah. Normalize vlogging with your feet 2021. <laughs> so that was what I ate in a day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, it's obviously different every single day. It's never really sticking to anything, but I am gonna do videos in the future, like trying specific diets for a week to see how that goes. I need camera time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm just here to let you know that no matter what you eat, no matter what you consume, don't put yourself down. As long as you feel healthy and happy, then that is literally all that matters in the end. So I just don't really like putting a label on how I eat. Um, even when I wasn't eating eggs or meat or all that, I didn't like calling myself anything just because it always changes. And I never want to stick to one specific thing because I'm just still trying to figure out what works for my body the best. And my body does go in phases, I've realized. So sometimes eating certain things help me and sometimes not eating certain things help me. So it's just whatever goes down in that season and the day and the week and the month and the year. Oh God, my thighs are getting so tired right now. But yeah, I hope you guys like this angle and this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Oh. I'm a different me, not a different person. It's the same me, just a different version. I don't care about what you working for. Let's be working towards something purposeful. I can see why you're hurting. No, oh, I can see something reversible. I could be a little turned up at the function and unavailable, understandable. I bet been on both sides. I